Hello, this is Timothy Hibbard's channel. I'm going to be doing a quick review on the Mini T, Losi Mini T 2.0, set up for racing. I've, uh, I've raced my rear wing right off the vehicle. Had a bunch of big crashes with bigger 10 scale short course trucks and had to rebuild the rear end with some tape and some Gorilla Gel glue. But I went and drilled out three holes and then two holes up in the main. I like putting a little radio antenna through that tail. It looks cool, a little old school look. But uh, if you've watched any of my previous videos, I've got some hot racing parts, some pivot blocks, RPM arms, low C upgraded metal shocks, MIP CBDs and stuff. But um, the car has been doing great. Uh, I've been enjoying it. The tires took a while to break in and it took using uh, tire sauce and wrapping them in cellophane in the heat and it, they would expand up and soak in the sauce instead of letting it evaporate and they puffed up nice and then I took 80 grit sandpaper and roughed them up and I can't believe the difference so when I first had done the uh, the saucing the car was all over the place. They were poofed up and they were they were real soft, but they weren't grippy. So it took me roughing them up. So another thing I do is I'm running an 18 tooth pinion, identical to the Mini B's because they have the same size rear tires and wheels, uh, gearing. And the only way that I could keep up at our local track, I couldn't get a B. So I had to get a T and then I modified it uh, to be able to keep up with them, but it has the exact same gearing. Um, and to be honest with you, adding the hot racing parts, I mean, if I could have done it over again, I would have never bought a bunch of the hot racing stuff. Uh, my brass pivot was so heavy. I got the, uh, power hobby shock towers. They were too heavy. Now I've just got a little bit of electrical tape around the front for my, um, the Mylaps transponder. So these little transponders are not cheap, anywhere 130 You can get a buddy 60 70 bucks if you're lucky. Uh, I run it with the cover off so that uh, it keeps debris and keeps it cooler. That's why I cut the holes in the body to let some more air in because you gear it up, tend to get a little warm. Luckily, this thing does not get hot, even in a whole pack. So um, I'm running Electron 860 little battery, 25C, uh, the stocker. I don't notice any difference. I thought a 25C 860, they run a little bit longer, the 860 milliamp compared to the stock 650, but not much of a difference. So I decided to give my car a little bit more tow in, a little camber, and she started, we made our track nice and tight. So now she's doing a lot better and went and put a little bit of Singer sewing machine oil where all the bearings are and they just glide nice and easy uh, if i was to do it over again only two parts i would have ordered was the hot racing adjustable motor mount and the 18 tooth pinion i had not done anything else because everything else added weight metal the rpm arms were a little heavier i had to take the, the like i said towers blocks things off of it just to get it light enough to to get up to 18 i added all the weight now if you went brushless it would have been sick absolutely sick you know uh hot racing brass pivot block the aluminum power hobby tops the uh the hubs and spindles and all the other pieces all add that weight that hot racing weight so like i said i got all my stocks for if i break something uh, like a few nights ago a uh, friend charlie he lost the bottom part of his shock so i clapped it you know snapped it off and gave it to him I've got some spares, uh, I've got the uh, all the little adjustable link sets, every one of them, so if I break one or break a tip, I have a replacement. Then I have this special little kit, so it turns out that the, the shock tower, this little tiny nut, is microscopic and it's really difficult to get in, so what I did was I made sure I have the exact socket for the nut and the little allens, and it allows me to be able to pop my shocks off much quicker. Uh, it took me a while to find a socket that fit it correctly. I'm, let's see, what is it? It is a 530 seconds standard. What a weird number to fit the uh, low C, but it fits. So, And um, I'm enjoying it. I'm absolutely loving it. I took a, a win at a B main, and now we're doing the A main. And 
A couple of the guys weren't racing, so I won one of the races. But I'm getting seconds and thirds. And once I get a little bit better, I know I'll be kicking butt. So um, what I wanted to show you is a, a great way to clean your motor and get more power. But uh, I'm going to stop right here and show you that next video a little bit. Thank you. Have a great day and subscribe. Timothy Hibbard.